Hey everyone, it's Brennan the Paleo Dude, and I'm here with a very special podcast series hosted by yours truly, as well as Dapper the Raptor, and a special guest, Primal, will be joining us for the first episode, where we'll be taking a look at who would win that all-out brawl between these dinosaurs, seen here, handpicked by us. So, Dapper, you want to get us started with who will be fighting tonight? All right, so... Our lineup of contestants is actually a pretty long one, but I chose we sorry we chose the best and most exciting of them all. So oh. we got Stegosaurus, Bias, Pachyrhinosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Sauropelta, Pachycephalosaurus, Utah Raptor, Nigerosaurus, pronounced like the country, Iguanodon, Carnotaur, Ceratosaurus, <laughs> uh, you know thinking. Zucamimus, and last but not least, Edmontosaurus. So, what do you, you want to say? Albertosaurus. About? Oh, yeah, and Albertosaurus, too. Let's not forget the Canadian Tyrannosaur. So, who do we want to hey, start cousin. with? First, Primal. Ah. <laughs> You're a random deciding variable. Start pinning people up against each other. Oh, not in a uh, bad way or anything. <laughs> not not like the Papo Giga. Who do I want on? kill off first um, <laughs> i don't let's just you know what let's talk about the elephant room nigrosaurus oh um okay so, so uh, these these suggestions have been very fun to pick because we just know who's already gonna get knocked out first so this poor bastard ain't gonna melt like last long kind of built like a flipping lawnmower and uh very defenseless but it does have a cool little whip tail so you know it it has something right it has some capabilities but capabilities like dying no, didn't mean. <laughs> let's face it uh there, you might you might notice that we don't have any large sauropods with us today that's just because they clap all the contestants here so we decided to go with uh the polar opposite of what sauropods usually are for this competition today <laughs> this small boy. Um, so, what are uh, like some viable matchups this guy would have in our um, brawl here today? <sighs> Look, honestly, I, I just say this right now. I, I don't know if you can even like do much of anything. I guess I guess I could throw your weight around against those Utahs, but I don't think uh, I don't think anything else would would be a good matchup because I think everything else would just I'd toss like this to- thing. The raptors might yeah. get smacked around by the tail. No, the tail can't reach yeah. the head. They're just going to get to the head and Let's not it's over. Let's not forget, Nigrosaurus was definitely a decently sized sauropod, even though it was on the smaller side, being around Parasaurolophus in size. God, so I just want it dead. Let's around. pin it up against the Carno. Jesus. I don't know if it the acro. Kill him. Oh, no. Acro. You're right. Okay, but he's the, he's the first. Well, he also got the thing is Dinocurus is there as well, so that's another thing. I, I don't yeah. think Lou's man child was... playing with his dinosaur toys. <laughs> uh, I'd reckon it could fight Carno or Serato if it faced off against those, but as soon as an Acro, I mean, as soon as the Acro comes in, it's totally dead. Like, because it can't outrun it or fight it, so it's kind of just uh, there. Is that our first out? Yes. Yeah, I think that's our first out. <laughs> <laughs> How many things they want is even our suggestion? Is this poor bastard got ragged in here in the first place? I can yeah. imagine it's so dumb that it was looking the opposite direction to literally all the other contestants. He's so, like, oh, what's going on Big boy there? was a little hungry, just had to go for it. Yeah, it's probably just mowing the, uh, mowing the lawn as all the other dinosaurs are fighting. On more. Poor guy. All right. So with the Nigrosaurus being a large happy meal, let's talk about our next contestant that has a little more bite to it. Uh, Primal, let's talk about your favorite dinosaur, the Pachyrhinosaurus. What do you think? Oh, oh okay, okay. Um, okay, so uh, battering ram pig. Uh, so I don't, I think, I don't think he would go up, up against the acro, but I think a good fight between this guy and uh, maybe a carnivore, I guess the Serato. But, 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 <sighs> Albertosaur. <laughs> Albertosaurus is also in the room, so I think that's a, that's a matchup I kind of want to have. Albertosaurus? 
Albertosaurus. Oh no, there he comes in. I had Size is that. clearly off, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I reckon that Albertosaurus versus Pachyranosaurus would be a really even matchup, but I think Pachyranosaurus could come out on top because of its more smaller but dense build and that big old boss at the end of its nose. Uh, all, all the Pachyranosaurus has to do is just keep its face towards the the Alberto. Alberto. Yeah. <laughs> you should have you 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 brought a turntable. <laughs> you should have oh, yeah. brought a turntable to this. <laughs> Brennan, what do you think would be the outcome? Yeah, uh, yeah, you're just... the one that lives over there. <laughs> oh, yeah, these are my locals. Um, Yeah, I'm pretty sure Alberta Source alone might get hella clapped by this guy out in the open. Though it might be quick enough to get around the frill, but yeah. there's too many other dinosaurs in this area fighting, so they're a little preoccupied with being stressed out. This is exactly and... what Jurassic Fight Club wants. <laughs> yeah, let's let's ignore that. <laughs> this is like this let's is assume like assume its neck was a little this bit bigger. Discussion between three men talking about who would win in a ball out dinosaur battle. Well, one of them is playing with his dinosaur toys. They're models, and they're not to be used as toys. <laughs> they're expensive, detailed, and scuff easily. Oh my god! All right, let's. Put, okay, so while they're being preoccupied, let's move on to another dinosaur on the polar opposite end. Of the no, field. they're not preoccupied. Packy Rhino one. Well, like Bart, Albertosaurus. Can be Packy Rhino one in this situation. <laughs> okay. It's a fifty-fifty. We flip the dice. Packy Rhino one. Fine. Look, at least Tyrannosaurus isn't in here. By the way. Yeah, no, no, no popular boys except Stego because Stego's a cool kid. But um, speaking of, let's talk about Stegosaurus. Oh yeah, so we're not doing we're not doing Ceratosaurus, poor bastard. Um, Ceratosaurus just get knocked out instantly. It could kill Carno though, Cerato. I feel like Stegosaurus would be one of those herbivores that actually go up against one of the other herbivores. Which because one? The Pachycephalosaurus? <laughs> I, well, I feel like Stegosaurus wasn't really fond of everything else, so I figured it would just, like, it would either try to pick a fight with any other animal that it was closer to. I'd imagine it, it would have, like, a it on it, But it would fight, like, all the other herbivores, though, because I feel like those two go together. Guanadon and Steg... Oh, Jesus. Um. <laughs> no! <laughs> Yeah, got uh, viewers at home. This these are not toys. They're obviously models. These are paid not, actors. Not, they're not meant to be played with because they can be easily scuffed. Paid actors is what they are. <laughs> paid actors. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd reckon unlike what's going on on the screen, I don't think uh, Stego would want to kill a Guanaro, but it would definitely want to kill like uh, like Dinochirus. I could see them two fighting. I don't think they want to kill each other. I think they're all already dead. <laughs> <laughs> Brennan, okay, what is your input, Brennan? You're just playing I feel like as much as a Brennan, Guanadon, you're just, you're just a child. <laughs> Iguanodon has those large ass thumb spikes, right? But usually, when you think of theropods going up against the uh, Stegosaurus, it's with their head, which is propped on a long ass neck. Sure, it's got yeah. long arms, but if this guy goes in for a little one, two jabs to the head. What's to say big boy can't just swing around and slap yeah. this guy? And if it goes from the side and tries to, like, jab its thumbs into its organs, that can definitely do a lot of damage, and maybe it might die later from that. But again, big well, boy can just swing that tail yeah. into his face. It's basically suicide to ass ride it or attack it from the front. Yeah, so you gotta be these guys are longer Style. than these guys. <laughs> yeah. But because Stegosaurus historically had like a like a symbiotic relationship with another Guanodont, Camptosaurus, I feel like they'd be friends or just like allies, if you will. Uh, during... You're kind of right. So I feel like we shouldn't pin them up against each other. Yeah. Damn it. However, that whole fight was like non-canon. It was going on inside the uh, the Iguanodon's head. Yeah, they're kind yeah, of prone a, to violence. But an herbivore, I think I could see Stego fighting would be. Um... Pachyrhinosaurus, Sauropelta, or Dinochirus. One of those three. I feel like it would be aggressive towards. Who do you want to put it put it up against? Sauropelta, because oh. he hasn't gotten any action yet. Oh, Sauropelta's well, tiny as hell. Sauropelta in general. 
Yeah, okay, yeah. Sorapelta gets its head crushed. But then its head is covered in spikes. Act- or it's neck too. Little armor, but it's still a skull. And it's still made That's of a- bone. Giant shoulder and spikes bone. that everybody would have to be careful of. I don't think ever anyone oh, would try to go against the Sorapelta. My opinion. Yeah. Um, I, I want to remind you, Acrocanthosaurus lived <laughs> among three different species of, of nodosaur built like this. So I'm not going to lie. It's probably built to kind of just go like that. Okay. Yeah. I, I think the Acro is no, the big bully the here. Big I, oh, no. I think we're going to have to do Acro last because I think he's the big bully out of everyone. Yeah. We'll do him. We'll save him for last. But, but like, uh, Zorapelta can uh, kick in those huge toys. Kick ass for sure. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wasn't well, that a I dinosaur fight club? The one killed- I think it. No, it was this Jurassic guy fight versus club. Utah Raptor. Remember, this was Dino Fight yeah. Club. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Which makes Wait. no sense. Exactly. Our realism is that Zorapelta kicks in both of their kneecaps. Yeah, but see, the thing is, since Sauropelta is, like, not as wide and squat as, like, the later Ankylosaurs, I think it was plausible that, like, maybe an Acrocanthosaurus could flip it over, because for the larger They team, live in the same environment. Yeah. Actually, I but think for, all of these guys do. Well, yeah, those three, yeah, they all live in the same environment, but for Acro and Sauropelta, I feel like because Sauropelta had longer legs and wasn't as squat as the Ankylosaurs, there was a plausibility maybe it could be flipped over versus in Kylosaurs where they were so low to the ground and heavily built, it would have been impossible to flip them over. Yeah. And due to yeah. our five minute limit, who do you want to kill off of these guys? Or 10 minutes left. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll do speed round. <clears throat> All right. So I'd say the Utahs are dead. Utah's <laughs> dead. Packy's dead. Utah's are- Acro can nom them both. Well, not even mention Packy. We haven't even well, talked about Packy. Okay. That's- bring in Packy then. Yeah, bring in Packy. It's freaking travesty. Both of them. So Packy, okay, so on first glance, Packy may seem kind of like, you know, the defenseless small herbivore, right? Even though it does have the dome They're not head. that small. Why, why is everyone well, talking well, about small. them being small? Well, it's one of the smallest, it's one of the smallest dinosaurs in our uh, roster right now. But it's heavier. It's, I mean, it's heavier than Utah, even though the Utah is slightly bigger and taller. Uh, I don't think that's really going to help much when a full-on charge is going to just break all of its bones because it's so fragile, if you think about it. What do you guys think? Wait, um, who are we pitting it up against? Let's try Serato. That'll just, be interesting. Well, the thing well, is, there's two of them. Yeah, there's, oh, there's shit. two of them, too. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah actually, now that I think about it, I think the, re- the, the, the two, like, the two packies in this single arena, they're going to... I think they're able to actually go up against some of some carnivores and might stand a chance. Yeah. They're definitely going to kill the Carno and the Serato too if they ever matched up. So, yeah, the Serato went for one and the other took out like a leg and, and then, then it couldn't stand ahead. and then they just kind of... Oh, these guys are the kneecap breakers actually. Yeah. Oh, wait. We talked about them. Well, uh, uh, but their heads, their, their domes are not able to, uh, they're not ramming. They're, they're not no, no, ramming. They but they're just not each other. Uh, not each other. But I'm, I'd reckon because raptors were more like uh, fragile, I'd reckon that the blow could uh, effectively like hurt the dinosaur. Plus, even a blow from the side, like what some scientists think, like they would have acted like a giraffe sort of like hit each other from the side, that would hurt too. Well, they do have the spikes on the end. That's true. Yeah, that too. Yeah, they have spikes. You have to also account for that. Um, what's another dinosaur? Oh, Monolophosaurus would be instantly dead. If it fought on literally anybody on the field, it's dead for sure. Because it's just <laughs> kind of like a weaker um, Utah. What do you guys think? I really want to draw. Okay, sidetrack. I really want to draw Brennan just playing with the dinosaur. <laughs> yes, I can use that as a thumbnail. <laughs> all right okay. um i'm not i'm not gonna lie here um i want the packies clapped so let's mm, what can defend their the angels Suko, the very Suko. easily the suko comes in yeah suko could come in yeah suko they try and go for its legs but those arms are too good yeah 
plus, considering Suchomimus was almost as big as Acrocanthosaurus, it's basically an apex predator. So definitely take out those two packies for sure. Oh, he's got his jaws the... may be useless, but these arms, damn, damn boy. He's got the he's got the the like the toothpick like mouth. To pick his mouth. He's got that. Be good for holding onto things though. Exactly. Yeah, that'd be good to holding on to things because they're conical shaped. But in terms of arms, there would be a three-way match between Iguanodon, uh, Sucomimus, and Dinochirus. In terms oh, of shoot. Arms. Well, we haven't bring uh, Dinochirus. Dino um, okay. I just want a herbivore to just die by herbivore hand. So who do you think? Dinochirus I, okay, or... Now that I think about it, Dinochirus would be the one to do that. Yeah. Dinochirus would be the one actually uh, killing another herbivore. Iguanodon. Yeah. Steal this guy comes in and starts eating his favorite water plants, and he's yeah. not having any of it. Just not in Montosaurus, though. Montosaurus would fight. Oh, yeah, Montosaurus is pretty big, though. <laughs> oh, but a Montosaurus would probably still lose too much scratches so on its face. The biggest dinosaur we have. What? Yeah, oh, the biggest oh dinosaur shit. The You're right. Ugh. I want him dead, and I want him dead now. No, never. It's gonna kill the acro. You're kidding. Edmonto would kill the acro. This is, this is where the spark... Okay, okay. Rex, Edmonto can fight acro. Acro is like a fragile version of Rex. Think about it. <sighs> I want it dead. Stego. It's going up against the goddamn Stegosaurus. No. Edmonto would run. Edmonto... Edmonto is... Okay. There is no running. I don't want to <laughs> there is no it, running. But Edmontosaurus is in a really good situation here because... It has the mobility to outrun everything it can't fight, but it has the power to fight everything it can. So, for example, I don't think it could fight a Stego because it would get stabbed, but it could just simply run away and wait for the Stego to get killed by something else. But if it fought like a... I feel like this is biased because you don't want it to die. Fine, that's a little bit biased. I feel like this is biased because you like, you like Hadrosaurus. Fine, fine, it can die. Let's look, just, okay, let's... okay, look, I can give it to you right now, and Montasaurus does have the size... And yeah. possibly the strength. Yeah, the strength but too. Also, Ank, uh, Acro is a large carnivore. Yeah, it both. does have the slicing teeth. Yeah, it's rex sized. It is also, but they're both rex sized. Oh yeah, so, Edmonto is slightly larger though. But I'd reckon that that would be a very even match. But because we want the fight to go on, I'd reckon the Acro could beat the Edmonto. Also, the thing is. These are these are one v ones against each other. So usually in the like in real life, probably the Montosaurus was Ooh, with other animals. Yeah, like other, could, uh, other yeah. the same species. A bunch of them could predator like, came in. clap a predator easy. You well, on and now the thing is, it's alone. A very dangerous opponent. Okay, uh, how yeah. about Carno Carn and Pachyrhino? Carno's dead. Carno's fucking dead. Car just go impale gone. That's it's, it's like a cheetah. It's its own that's the only thing it has going. Just its legs. Once they're once they're gone, he's done. So yeah. Even right though now, he has the gripping, he has the gripping teeth. It ain't gonna compare to the the packy. Tiny mouth and tiny arms. Okay. Packy <laughs> and Suko. Ooh. Suko could Suko could mess up. I mean, uh Packy Round could mess up with Suko. But then I Suka Paki Rhino. What do you think, Primal? Okay, so Paki Rhino does have have that face again. Suko has to get around. But at the same time, Suko has so much bigger. The bite, the bite ain't much. The claws. <laughs> I can't read the neck. Oh no. It has a long neck, but that neck reach around can't do anything. Well, it's a tiny little Suko Mimus figure. <laughs> What's well, it, Yeah, it's like, sorry, it's huge, but like still. Those hands are going to grab onto the frill, but the thing is, that's right in... Ceratopsians are broken. <laughs> All dinosaurs are broken. I Ooh, I we got a minute left, guys. This is the tears you type shit. <laughs> we oh, got yeah. a minute left. Um, oh, shoot, this okay. isn't the meta. This, uh, oh, no. Stego uh, okay. is pretty small compared to Acro. I feel like no. Acro could no. clap it because it was no. used to fighting Allosaurus, no. which is smaller. Acro, Stego and Dinochirus. Boom. Hmm? Or or Acro versus Dinochirus, who's winning? Because the other two are totally dead. Who's winning? No. <laughs> this, <laughs> just this is a mess. Dinochirus killed Acro. Less than a minute. Less hey, than uh, a minute. 
Duke it out. Come on, Dunder Curse. I, sure I want, like, I want yeah. it to actually just oh, break. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the arms are going to break. <laughs> no. This is, this is a mess. <laughs> Acro it's... neck was too weak. What? This sucks. Oh, I mean, Dino's and Dinochirus neck was too weak. There we go, That's guys. Biased. Thanks for all watching. That totally this wasn't sucks. biased. We'll see you in the next this podcast. Sucks. There's probably 30 